Hey there, folks. So, welcome to another Stu's Game Reviews live stream. Did a bunch of TRS-80 games recently. Decided to, today, do a DOS game. I haven't done one of those, not, not that long, but a lot of TRS-80 recently. The game I have here today is called Shadow President. Came on three and a half inch discs, released in 1993. And it's like a simulation of um, being president of the United States, basically. It says here on the back, uh, I'll read this. You're the president of the United States. It's June 1st, 1990. The Berlin Wall is falling. The Middle East is about to explode. No one has heard of Desert Storm. And no one would believe a Soviet coup. Welcome to your first day on the job. So the game is not, not Kai protected, but it comes with this manual. The Kai protections in the manual. Basically, it says here, find quote number eight. <clears throat> the interesting thing is, if you actually know, you know, these quotes, you don't have to actually have the manual. You can just look it up on the internet. I mean, there was no internet, I guess, when they, no no accessible internet when they made this game. But even so, like, one of the quotes is like, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Probably most people know that's Kennedy that said that. This one here, goodness by itself is not enough. It's Aristotle. So I just looked up in the manual. I'm going to type that in. Then we'll... Whoa. What the hell is that? Where's that noise coming from? That was weird. Where the hell is that noise coming from? Let's stop. Uh, 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 wait. Something, I have a weird feedback here for some reason. On my mic? Alright, Mike, stop that. Hold on a second. Okay, hello? Hello? I don't know what that was. I've got a weird, weird feedback there. All right, let's type in Aristotle. It's happening again. I never had issues with this mic ever. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully it'll, it'll stop. Maybe it's, the game is doing something weird. Or is it initializing something? I don't know, but let's see if it continues. All right, now I should hear the game for one second. Shadow President. I'm gonna skip the music and just go into the game here. I wish I knew where that feedback was coming from. Stu's getting political. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Accessing Shadow Network. Let me know if you hear weird things with the audio. I was just hearing some weird stuff before, but it seems like it went away for now at least. And I don't know why it takes so long to like start this thing. Alright, so this tutorial here, I hear like a weird background motor, th I don't know what the hell it is. Alright, if it sounds, sounds fine to you. You've successfully activated this program, codenamed Shadow President. The world is currently on hold. You may take your time while this tutorial not concern for your safety or the safety of the world. Mouse device movement and the tutorials under Shadow President control. The world of mouse device activation begins once you've exited this tutorial. Alright, so let's play space where I continue. As president, you now command Shadow President. You Shadow President to access CIA intelligence from around the world. Com Actually, hold on a second. It got much smaller here. Let me let me let me let me do this. I'm move this down here, and I'm going to put my other logo up. <laughs> Why not? All right. Uh, you Shadow President to access CIA intelligence from around the world. Commit U.S. foreign aid to action. Shape the U.S. budget. Monitor the results of your decisions. And follow tutorial simulations of hypothetical crisis in the Middle East. To see the name of the country in its region, the crosshair will be placed within its borders. The country will turn dark red. The name will appear in the text box below the map window. Ryan says that guy looks like Dick Cheney. So this this game was made in 1992. I noticed like the defense secretary looks like, in my opinion, looks like Colin Powell. Though he wasn't the defense secretary at the time. He was like chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, I think, right? So I don't know. They may have, they may have used some, some pictures of people that were actually around at that time. But he does look a little bit like Dick Cheney. The left mouse button click highlights and turns the country bright red. Is now the focus of Chow President for detailed information actually related to that country. The regional view window will now change the map window. This is the tutorial. The map window to the Middle East regional map. I don't know why it's so slow. All right, so now I'm in the Middle East. There are seven advisors that face along the bottom of your cabinet. Each is a unique way of helping you evaluate the world and use Shadow President. They are your eyes and ears. It's like moving the mouse for me right now, which is sort of annoying. 
and showing each of these people at the bottom. All right, so now I clicked on, I clicked on the White House Chief of Staff. We have a serious situation. Iraqi troops are gathering on the Iraqi-Kuwait border. These troops appear to be on the offensive, through the Iraqi, though the Iraqi government denies aggressive intentions. As president, you have many options available. One of the following actions will be most effective. Political coup d'etat or assassinate leader. That's probably what we should do. Military deploy troops threatened to attack. Form for surgical strike. Execute full-scale invasion. Nuclear threatened to attack. Execute nuclear strike. As commander in chief, you have the prerogative to initiate any action. The decision is entirely yours. Is it going to do something for me? It looks scroll down. I know what it's doing now. Before you take an action, you may want to be briefed by your advisors. The YFG of staff had just performed his primary function to help you navigate within Shadow President by describing what advisors should tell you. Right? says, if you want to the nuclear football, let's do. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, It's time to take U.S. action to protect and prevent a possible invasion of Kuwait. You presidential acts are easy to execute, but how and whether you're implemented makes a president great. It's a, I'm going to be the greatest president ever. I'm definitely better than like those bums Lincoln or Washington. As a chief executive, the president may take any action, but take note of the advice of your cabinet. Your detailed country briefings and opinion on specific actions provides invaluable insight. To execute action, the target country must be selected. That's a, I guess that's Iraq. Okay. Oh, now I can pick what I want to do. Move the crosshair of this area of a map activates the eight action control panel. Da 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 da. There are five foreign aid buttons, to humanitarian aid, economic aid, to political aid, military aid, nuclear aid. I don't want to aid, I want to just kill. There are five action buttons, social actions, economic actions, covert intelligence actions, military actions, nuclear actions. <laughs> the arrow is currently pointed to the military action button. So that's a guy that looks like Colin Powell in my opinion. Uh, all right, so I could, this, I could do a bunch of stuff here. This is the military action selection box. Each action selection box, same format, choices, advisor explanation, and the bottom right corner is leadership effectiveness rating, whatever that is. Uh, okay, so I can enter the war room, for example. Do it! Yeah, it does look like him. I agree, Ryan. This action is not initiated until the president issues an execution order and presses the do it button. If you wish to withdraw from taking an action, use the cancel button. If your staff will set down an alert, resume your operation, no new action will be taken. If you want opinion, select the action and press the advice button to call an executive strategy meeting. Okay. If you press can since it's okay, we'll press cancel. If you press do it, it will be committed. Alright. Now what? You may want to take preventative action in this region. There could be several approaches. Is it going too fast, by the way? Because something's zoomed pretty fast. I wonder if I have to slow down the DOS box. What potential short room term solution military aid can be given to countries that border Iraq or jeopardy being evaded like Kuwait? It's going pretty fast there. Giving Kuwait military aid. They need 1525, and I'm giving them 145. That's going to help a lot, I'm sure. All right, so he sent the aid to Kuwait. We'll send them... All right, we'll restore the previous aid values. Fine. Giving aid may help short-term. Eventually, something must be done about the Iraqi government. Try to remove them or work with them to solve their problems. It's the power of the presidency. Whoa. See, some of those things are flashing by really fast, though, Ryan. That's what I'm talking about. This concludes the crisis portion of the tutorial. You now know enough to operate Shadow President. Your cabinet recommends you complete the tutorial, but you're the president. You call it. To exit the tutorial, press escape. The main tutorial focuses on features the cabinet finds critical. If any question goes with the tutorial again. Alright, I'm not gonna I'm gonna exit the tutorial because I read the manual and theoretically I should know what I'm doing here, but I'll probably fail anyway. Let's exit though. I hit escape. Okay, I'm pressing zero. Okay, the clock has been stopped. Because it said that you could basically stop the clock and you can figure out what you want to do and then you can continue the clock. And I, since I have no clue what I'm doing, I stop the clock. That's what says in the manuals do that. All right, so table of good morning. Along with the information your cabinet advisor have for you, a sort of takes priority one files to aid in making your agenda. Where's my mouse? Okay, where's my mouse? Economic hotspots, political hotspots. Uh, military hotspots, oh, total war, Ethiopia, Afghanistan, Lebanon, human rights hotspots, treachery, China, Iraq, and North Korea. Well, it's good to see nothing really changes. This is 1990, right? 
So it's like 20 years ago, and we still have the same old, you know, friends help working, doing their job, except for Iraq, I guess, which we took care of. I have a list of our allies currently involved in a war situation. No significant use to report. The U.S. World Team Alliance can have severe internal problems. Follow allies should be reviewed. Oh, it says a report I can click on here. No, no significant news to report. Your popularity levels are great. At 50%, you have the public backing necessary for political agendas. Also, we should realize the election is only two years from now. The NSA's official political position. Da da da. Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense. There's, there's, there's tons here. Like, I'm sure I'm going to like fail miserably because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, but I'm going to try anyway. Natural disasters. Okay. Um, so, like, see, that's the sound I was told. What the hell is that sound? It sounds like a nuclear explosion just took place. Okay, how do I exit out of his? I clicked on him. Okay, that, I don't even want to talk to him. I just want to, we have to just click on the same NSA thing again. Uh, yeah, okay, that turns him off. All right, I want to go to, I want to go to North Korea. But the problem is I don't, I don't know enough about geography. <laughs> <laughs> to find North Korea. Somewhere around here, right? Uh, that's China, I think. China, Northeast Asia. All right, let's click on that. Let's click on regional view. Back the IDF and just take it all the Middle East leaders. It's a good idea. Uh, what's that smell? I like, it's like, I... At first I hear, like, a noise, and then like, I... It looks like burning... Uh, hopefully the noise is not related to, like, something component here overheating. Hey, Jeremy, how's it going? Uh, Israel, please make sure we don't blow up. Right, so I'll be leaving around 9. Oh, that's really soon. Why if I go to watch 48 Hours? Uh, why 48 Hours? That's such an old movie. Is it 48 Hours or another 48 Hours? All right, here's... Okay, this is North Korea, I guess. Well, that's China. Where's North Korea? Here. All right, let's go to Country View. And let's just see what happens if I just nuke them. <laughs> Execute nuclear strike. Missiles to launch. Five. <laughs> Advice. Effects of a nuclear strike? That's not difficult. You're asking for trouble. I'd think again. All right, thanks for, thanks for your advice. Let's just see what happens. Hope you know what you're doing. All right, I gotta I gotta turn the, the speed on again because nothing's happening right now. All right, now we're one hour per second. I mean, we were one hour per second before. All right, so now what happens? The opposite range so nuclear strike. So we should do it. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Why is it so small? This is like probably not the way to play this game. I'm just this is just cathartic. <laughs> now probably I'm gonna get blown up by like Russia or something. Oh my god. Eight million people dead. <laughs> Senior Secretary of Defense Washington told glasses. Shut the heck up. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I didn't There's no more North Korea. Nations around the world are condemning the nuclear strike we made North Korea. They are particularly upset anyone would attack a country that has no global nuclear strike capability. Yeah, but you don't realize they're going to have it. I, you know, I was trying to prevent that. I'm preparing an executive summary. All changes as a result of this action will be highlighted. Okay, what are the changes? United States military threat concern went from went very high. My leadership effectiveness went really high. Concern about the government... Oh, quality of life went from... Wait a second. It went down. Okay, I'm, I see. Quality of life went down. The issue of fighters went down. Nuclear threat went up. Military threat went up. Concern about government went up from 6% to 94%. So basically, everyone thinks I'm a psycho, essentially, is what happened here. That's fine. What's, what's, what are you going to do to me? The advice advisors resigned because of policy disagreements. Ah, get heck with you, you wimp. Do I get another, like, do I, I don't get, like, a replacement advisor? Uh-oh. What's happening? Hello? The statement that North Korea issued in condemning our nation has backfired, damaging the credibility of North Korea. I've prepared an executive summary. Now take out Palestine. 
Uh, so what happened? Nothing. Oh, United States military influence went down. Total influence went down. Strategic value went down. So basically, this is like not good for me. Shadow Network is experiencing system overload. The frenzy of activity throughout the world is resulting in a nuclear strike against North Korea is causing a system-wide slowdown. I guess probably after this, I should probably play this game properly. Alright, let's see if I can ex even do anything. My popularity plummeted from 50% to 27%. If my popularity is six months lower, I'm in danger of being impeached or possibly even assassinated. Okay, well, let's... I don't think Palestine's even a country that I could nuke if I wanted to. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I think Russia's nuking me. So what you need is hit the U.S. mainland with a nuclear assault. Due to the electromagnetic pulse, your company's nuclear detonation, the shadow network has switched to a backup power sources. Staff evacuation to Mount Weather is imminent. Alright, I guess I'm dead, basically. I don't see nuclear threat concern can go higher than 100%, so. Alright, you gotta go. Thanks, Ryan. This advisor was killed in the line of duty. Oh my gosh. Well, that guy's dead. Alright, well, do it for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, I can't. I don't have time to do anything. <coughs> I like the characters in the bottom screen. Start left to right. Dave McKenzie, Zephyr Cochran, George Clooney, Leonardo DiCaprio, Scarlett Johansson. Bill Pullman, Jeff Gold. Where do you come up with that from? I can't. I can't even do anything. The clock has stopped. I, I can't. I can't. It can move. Things are too much going on. Japan condemned us now. All right, we don't care. Uh, what was I doing here? Come on. Go to the regional view. Where's what happened to? No, not this regional view. What happened to? I wanted to get the, the Soviet Union. Yeah, there you go. No, get, stop getting off there. Stay on that. Okay. Soviet Union. Country view. Next time we got to hit the Soviet Union first. That's the problem. Hold on. I can't do that right now, Jeremy. I have to nuke the Soviet Union. Before they nuke me, another another twenty times. <laughs> how, how much? How high can I go with this thing? All right, fifty should be enough. Do it. All right, I'm sure the world's be destroyed now by nuclear holocaust. So you think it's Dave McKenzie? Zephram Cochran, maybe Zephram Cochran it looks like. That, I didn't even talk about George Clooney, I guess you're right. Leonardo DiCaprio, I think that's Colin Powell. Scarlett Johansson resigned. Bill Pullman, I think that guy looks more like, uh, I don't know. All right, you came back already? What happened to 48 hours? Your wife bailed on you? I just shot 50 nuclear missiles at, uh, at Russia, or at least I tried to. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Yes, I'm ready to do it. Looked like a stupid 48 hours. Oh, it's 40 hours a show? I thought you were going to look at the movie 48 hours with Eddie Murphy and, and Nick Nolte. Alright, this is probably not the way to play Shadow President, but it's sort of, like, somewhat entertaining. I only killed 83 million people? That's not a really good good shot. A major city is vaporized. Request of coming for emergency aid. We crippled the nation. My popularity is probably going to go down even further. And now what are you going to do? Can I get a new, a new, some new off, uh, people to, to replace these guys that resigned? The entire region side of North Korea has had great loss of spray radiation. Remember lines that were in Northeast Asia have shifted away from us. Many nations are discussing sanctions against us. <laughs> when you, they launched the missiles from rising the Death Star, all else is people here stew. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what's going on here? Current popularity, 24%. They condemned us. How can they condemn us? Aren't they dead? Uh, quality of life... 
went up a little bit in Soviet Union, apparently. Or, I don't know what happened. Nothing, it seems like nothing happened. I think they're shooting us now. That, eh, means someone's attacking us. I don't think I shot enough missiles. I only shot 10 missiles. I sh at 50 missiles. I should have shot, uh, I should have shot like a thousand missiles. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, no, my CIA guy was also killed. Are they shooting another one at me now? <laughs> I don't have time to retaliate. Where's the mutually issued destruction? Oh, Japan condemned the Soviet Union. Okay. All right, Soviet Union. I don't think I, I, don't, I don't think I killed him. I don't think I... Uh-oh. That was a mistake. United Kingdom condemned them also. United States has suffered great losses. Oh, no. China's now going to shoot me. <laughs> China condemned us, too. All right. Whatever. I don't think I shot enough missiles at them. That's the problem. Uh, you know what? This is, like, stupid. I, I mean, like... I'll do this one more time, but, like, the fact that I'm even able to do this... Can I, can I just type in a number here? The fact that I'm even still able to do this, like, I haven't been, like, murdered yet or something is probably ridiculous. Hey, Green Raccoon. I ain't no Kamala Hart or Crab Harris at her own game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Of course, quality of life went up. They no longer starve than either dead neighbors. How many missiles can I... What's the maximum here I can launch? I'm glad my Secretary of Defense is still alive. He hasn't been killed yet. Wait, how, how, how does this go? How high does this go? Come on, keep on shooting missiles. We want to, like, annihilate the whole country. The whole world. Ha ha ha. I'm a psychotic U.S. President. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Alright, we need 200 this time. 200 nuclear missiles. There, I can get 201 for good measure. Do it! Yes, I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to kill everybody in the world. Uh oh. <laughs> Iraq condemned the Soviet Union. United States. Is, yes, do it! <laughs> this is really messed up, isn't it? This is why. Never vote for me for president of the United States because I'll be like, hey, let's just try some stuff and see what happens. Green Raccoon says, well, the most iconic U.S. president of the most secure election ever. Well, oh my gosh. 152 million dead now. Is that and then plus the 80 million from before? So, I mean, basically, we've learned here, at least according to this game. Like, you can't just knock the country out. Soviet Union is asking the nation of the world to unite against our country. Yeah, I mean, that's probably smart. How come I haven't been killed yet? I mean, can I try to spread peace now or something? What? United Nations... I don't know what's going on here anymore. India now... India sent a peace delegation offering more peaceful relations. Shall we accept? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. So India sent us a peace delegation. <laughs> Kim Jong Stu. <laughs> well, I, the first thing I did was go after North Korea. It's not my fault that Russia decided to attack me. They're, they're bastards. Next time, mind your own freaking business, Soviet Union. Here, China. I want to... Oh, it's not even letting me do anything. There's too much going on. And I keep pressing the wrong buttons, too. Soviet Union has condemned South Korea. Because South Korea condemned them. Come on. Soviet Union condemned the United Kingdom. Everybody's afraid now. All right. Let's, let's, let's give, send some money to China. Uh, no, I want to send money. Cancel. Uh, let's see here. Money. Economic aid. 
Let's increase economic aid to China. I'll give them five bucks. There we go. Send aid. Done. No change, no change, no change. They expressed their willingness to accept more. And that's so nice of them. I really appreciate they're willing to accept more. What's going to happen now? Are they going to condemn me? Yeah, they condemned us. <laughs> we didn't send enough aid, I guess. Or they said, like, screw your aid. You just, like, blew up the Soviet Union. Let me send them some so some social aid. Humanitarian aid. I feel bad for you, Soviet Union. We'll send you ten, $10. Oh, wait, I couldn't even do that. We'll send you $10 of uh, social aid. Or, it's probably $10 million or something. They already made a lot of stuff. <laughs> I feel, Jeremy, I feel like if I, if I nuke... They have publicly rejected our aid package without exception. It is difficult to determine their reasons. Yeah, I wonder why they reject our aid package. And they publicly reject... Wow, that's so mean. Here, maybe I can, like, uh, take some action against them. Military. Uh, no, not this one. Uh, can't cancel. Let's negotiate a peace settlement. <laughs> Let's negotiate a peace settlement with them. Let's see if that works. See results in the next week or so. Uh, that's like in seven seconds of game time. And how do I do like a uh, here assassinate leader? <laughs> that's what I want to do. <laughs> that's. I'm like, every effort to be discreet. I feel no what to do. I'll report back to you in the next couple of days. All right, let, let me know how that goes. Uh-oh. Current popularity, 13%. The number of people that hate you is much too large. Unless you act quickly, your days as president may be numbered. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Bang. Oh, no, it failed. Well, at least we sent the peace envoy. How did he get killed? Was he was he personally executing that thing? Oh my god, I only have three guys left. I'm, I'm not doing too well here. Why is there 69 on the, on the, on the uh, Russia now? The coup d'etat if they sponsored our nation has failed too. Alright, so that's alright. I mean, that's how my, my advisor got killed. Uh, let me send, like, aid to some more... I don't know. Let, let me... Let me uh, let me send aid to Australia, maybe. Uh-oh. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, I'm okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> My ruthless behavior finally caught up with me. That was messed up. <laughs> Should we try it again? <laughs> hey, Jennifer, how's it going? <laughs> Stu Ryan says. All right, let's try this again without uh, trying to nuke North Korea at the beginning of the game. That probably was not a good idea. Ah, uh, man. Okay. They came and they just shot me to death. Yeah, I love how it ends just like that. <laughs> I agree. What's with that noise? It's like someone's like, drum roll, please. Alright. So maybe I can survive this time and maybe I just have to be killed in office. I wonder who killed me. Was it... <laughs> <laughs> Balmar the bass fish has three days presidency. Good job. I wonder if that was like my own like people that killed me, or if like Russia killed me. You would think like if I nuked the hell out of them, like they wouldn't be able to do anything. But apparently, this game is or oh, their tutorial. No, I don't want tutorial. I just did that already. All right. So this time maybe I'll have a chance to actually not get killed. We'll see. I bet you. I mean, I'll probably screw this up again. So any any uh, comments in the chat now that we had the uh, the Stu get murdered ending of the game? Any comments in the chat about uh, any other thing else you want to try in this game? I'm happy to try because I am definitely not cut out to be the president of the United States. Where I mean, I can like listen. If it was like the, 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 there's only two modes of the speed. There's like 
one either you freeze time or one second is one day. If one second is one day, like by the time I figure out what to do, the, the, like the whole year will be over. I can't think of something in half a second. I mean, I don't know what they're expecting here. So, um, should I try to like be nice to people this time? There's treachery in Iraq, China, North Korea. I probably should wait for something to actually happen. I mean, I want to like, I want to like uh, get my own uh, like country up. I don't really give a damn about. <laughs> Try getting intern to go down to the Oval Office. I'm not sure if that's an option in this game. It might be. Um, can I do anything with my own country? How do I do, like, country view for the United States? Can I send aid to the United States? My press secretary came back. She's from the dead. Or she's and She was smart. She left as soon as she saw where, where my presidency was going the first time. Uh, okay, give, give myself most favored nation status. No, that's probably not a good idea. Um, it's, I'm just starting off on the, the nationalism path again. Give myself some humanitarian aid. Can I do that? Aid needed zero. I'll give myself five anyway. Please excuse me for directing. You're informed that action of your own country does not make sense. Fortunately, members of the press are not informed of your attempt. Remember, the whole world is watching. All right, thanks a lot for that uh, amazingly helpful hint there. How about we play the passive regret? Wait, what do you say? Hold on. I'll be paused time while I can read what you're saying. Um, give everything to Israel. It would be nice if the game... That's not a good strategy, Jeremy. I'm just gonna, the whole world's going to attack me. It would be nice if the game told you who did it to you. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the game's over at this point, so yeah. But honestly, I'm going to see if I can find the game. looks fun. That's awesome, Balamar. I hope you do get it. Um, Green Raccoons is how we play the passive aggressive route where countries who are politically aligned with us get aid while countries who hate us get the shaft. I wish that was actually our our uh, our policy in real life. Gamers Grotto says, Jeremy, so is Trump nuke jet. Well, no, uh, Stu, President Stu was murdered in cold blood by like six bullet wounds in the head while you were away streaming, Jeremy. You missed that, so um, that's what happened to you before. All right, so who should I, what, what does this dude say again? He's, he's the chief of staff. He tells you, like, what places, like, like you and don't like you. So economic hotspots are Mozambique, Cambodia, and Ethiopia. Let's give them some money, right? Let's let's be nice. Let's give... Mo I don't even... Okay, the problem is, I don't even know where Mozambique, C Cam <laughs> Cambodia, and Ethiopia are. And they're somewhere here, I think, in this area. No, not... not come on. Not just that one country. Uh, can you, like, give, get to, like, to the... Regional view, maybe. All right, this is Libya, Egypt, Sudan, Chad, Niger, Algeria, Mali. Where the heck is Ethiopia? Nigeria, Ghana, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast. And how can I get to the other part of like this? T Come on, here Ethiopia. You see, I'm not like the best at geography, unfortunately. All right, so let's see if I can give these guys some money. They deserve some money, right? Uh, here we go. They need twenty-five thousand, twenty-five billion dollars, and right now the Soviet Union is giving them money, and I'm not. Let's give them some money. What is? I wish I could type a number in as opposed to just keep hitting up, 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 up because it takes too damn long. All right, let's send them some aid. Stu Mozambique is South Africa on the East Coast. Thank you, Jennifer. We have one intelligent person here. Yeah, who's a Stu got the clear chief. <laughs> they accepted the package. It's clear need for more aid continues. All right, so what happened? So they they got $50 million, and nothing. I got nothing out of it, apparently. My ethics went up. That and, uh, that and 50 bucks will get me a PlayStation game, as they say, right? Okay, so let's see if I can do this here, this other place too. Uh, Somalia, Kenya, Uganda, Zaire, Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda. I don't even know why I went there. Like, I was trying to go to the bottom of the map there. Let's try down here. Southern Africa, okay. Regional view. Let's give South Africa some, some education. 
That's probably a good idea, right? Let's send them some... What can I do here? Social aid. Not humanitarian aid. Do I have... Like, is there something else I could do with this? No, I guess not. Okay. Humanitarian aid, economic aid, intelligence aid, military aid, nuclear aid. Um, let's give them some humanitarian aid. We already given them a bunch, it looks like. They, but I don't know if that's going to actually do anything. Just I'm just trying anyway. What happened? They expressed their willingness to accept more. I mean, like, why would they not be willing to accept more? Cheap, like, okay, where's Mozambique? Here we go, Mozambique. Mozambique needs some money. Let's send some money to Mozambique. They need $17 billion. I don't think I have $17 billion, but I'll give them more than the Soviet Union is. But it really, I, I wish I could type in the, the number. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Higher speed is not intended for interact. I pressed 5, and that was going to speed it up to, like, 1 second is, like, 50 years or something like that. All right. Let's send aid. Okay. I'm getting some ethic points, I think. What's going on? It's updating some stuff. What's happening? I get a phone call. Hello? News report is circulating that Germany failed to increase peace levels in the United Arab Emir Emirates. Who cares? What was the other country that needed money? Was it was it was it anybody remember? Well my popularity went from fifty to fifty one. Okay, let me talk to my dude here and see what the story is. We need a small <laughs> Like, yeah, like Trump got a small loan, right? Uh, 70, 70 million dollars. I think they need 70, 26 billion is what it said. All right, so Cambodia was the other one that needed money. Um, Iraq is being aggressive. Right, let me try to do something more interesting. Let me, let me find Cambodia. I'll give them some money. And then I'm going to go to Iraq and do something there. As long as I can. It's already June 14th. We started June 1st. China failed to approve human rights policy in Japan. F they just do that again, everyone. It doesn't let me the option to nuke everyone. I don't if, if it's if you had an option to do that, that might do it, but if I, I have to first shoot all my advisors because one of them probably like you know shot me at the end. Kenya's established a cultural pro with Somalia. Alright. Angola, Nambia, Botswana. By the time I figure out where this country is. All right, the hell with it. I'm just going to Iraq. All right. You, you, you stupid media report. You know, I should just freeze time. But the problem is I can't. When I freeze time, it won't just let me do anything. What the hell is the point of that? Zambia. I don't even remember where the other place was anymore that I was looking for. I think it was Cambodia, they said, right? Probably Cambodia. I think it was Cambodia. All right, let's go to Worldview. Let's go to Iraq. Iran, Iraq... It's, now it's Iran. Terrorists in Iran the other day. I don't want country view. I want a uh, world view. I want a regional view. Regional view. All right, so... Where is Iraq? Here? Here? It's a water. So that's Soviet Union. Afghanistan. Pakistan. <laughs> Iraq, okay. Sorry, don't make fun of me. What's this game called again? Fallout 6 Stew Edition? Something like that. All right, let's see what we can do here. National Security Advisor. Jamie, report on Iraq. Iraq is a current sentiment to us to classify as rivalry. The attitude is of concern. I'm most concerned with the potential of military terrorist nuclear action. We want to put pressure on this government to see most vulnerable with military terrorist nuclear issues. Iraq is not aligned. The country that provides the greatest worldwide threat to us are... Soviet Union in general, Iraq for terrorists. Iraq, okay. Iraq is, is the biggest problem, it looks like. Let's see what our Secretary of State has to say. Mad Max, Lord Stupendous. Shout out President Stark, Kamala Harris. What, what are you supposed to Kamala Harris for? Uh, the average anxiety level of Iraq is 82.6%. Blah, blah. The government wants foreign aid. Oh, you want us to give you foreign aid, eh? If I give them foreign aid, they're not, they, they, these guys are not, like, very nice people. What was that noise? It sounded like a bomb. 
Secretary of Defense. What does he say? It's, these things are really slow considering like this game is on my hard drive. All right, military of Iraq presents two percent of the world's military power. Supposedly, this is like real, like CIA information. By the way, that's what it says in the manual. Hey, J Rock two one two two one one two two. How you doing, man? Uh, all right, blah blah blah. Press secretary, what does he say? Good evening. We scan the the media. Here's the most recent events in the country. Nothing. Okay, CIA. I'm curious what these people have to say in general. The ambition level of six is classified as ruthless. <laughs> they may sponsor terrorists to convert action to accomplish their goal. I'm very concerned with Iraq. Warning, on Iraq on July 28th, potentially before a little of a military buildup, on August 1st, likely before an urgent military buildup. How do you know? I think it's pretty, pretty impressive. It's the economic advisor. The Iraq quality of life rose from 11.3% to 11.4%. That's wonderful. Alright, let's let's uh, let's see if we can do anything to, to influence these guys. Let's turn, this, turn, you, turn you off. Let's go to my actions. I'll give some humanitarian aid. Maybe that will help. I'm already giving them humanitarian aid. Actually, add economic aid. Add intelligence aid. Military. I don't want to give them military aid. You know, I have a better idea. How about we do this? Uh, let's go to regional view. Jennifer, would you trust Stu with the nuclear football? I wouldn't trust Stu with the nuclear football. Forget about Jennifer. The reason why Biden is acting like absolute clouds so he can get the 20 minutes slapped down him and Kyle can take the reins for 10 years. Well, I, I don't want to get too political on this channel, even though we're playing a political game, because there'll be some people who get upset and some people who get to be happy, and it's just not worth it. I, I would be happy and, and I would love to discuss politics with people, except people can't handle it. It's like, that's the problem. People get very, very excited and, and they, they they can't have a, co a rational conversation about this stuff nowadays. What was I doing? Okay, Israel. What are we doing here? We're giving them a lot of economic aid, a lot of humanitarian aid, a lot of intelligence aid, a lot of military aid. So I guess this, this represents what we're already doing. So I don't really need to do anything different. It's like, it already set it up for what we were doing before. Jennifer says, Ryan, I wouldn't trust anyone with the nuclear football. Yeah, I agree. I might trust Jennifer with the nuclear football. She's very, like, balanced person, in my opinion. But I probably would want to have, like, two, you know, two-factor authentication on that. <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, let's try to do something. To, to, let's try to do something here. What's my military act? Not money. What else can I do? Uh, let's try to discourage military spending. Let's see. If, let's, let's get advice from the from the from my advisors. The ideology of Iraq is at odds with ours. We'll definitely question our motives. Well, it's actually noble intent. Iraq will likely view it with skepticism and resentment. I don't have a problem. This really improve your popularity. All right. So maybe I shouldn't do that. What if I do like CIA? So let's cancel this. Let's try a CIA objective. CIA action. Supply arms to rebels. Commit espionage. Sabotage economic assets. Coup d'etat. Commit espionage. Let's see what, what people think about that. This will impact relationships significantly. Iraq reviews is confirmation. You're asking for trouble. All right, so nobody thinks it's a good idea. Anybody have any idea what I should do? Um, Jeremy says... Gamers Grotto, yeah, no, politics should never discuss on gaming channels, there was different opinions, and as we learn, people can I handle different opinions in this day and age. Yeah, I mean, I, I basically agree with that. It's unfortunate, I, I really wish I could have a good conversation with something like this, just it doesn't really work. Um, encourage investment. Is there anything to do to make them my friends? I don't think so. But let's, let's, how much try this? Encourage investment. I suppose to try to be a jerk. They'll question our motives. Iraq will view as skepticism. Is there anything I could do that would like make them happy? Give most favored nation status. Uh, not the best terms. It might be detrimental to the relationship. They'll question our motives. 
There's nothing nothing I do will, will that, that will make anybody happy, it looks like. There's only one opinion. President Stuber. Try helping out the Congo and see if Belgium gets pissed. Like, I, I only know about Belgians in the Congo from like we didn't start the fire. Um I don't I, I know nothing about anything, apparently. I know a lot about games. Uh okay, encourage social reform. Dispatch peace envoy. Initiate cultural exchange, improve diplomatic relations, strengthen economic ties. Let's see, like, like, what, you guys think any of these are good advice? Good idea? The question our motives. Our, the, the, nothing we do is going to help? Apparently not. <sighs> they just hate us. It's like basically they hate us no matter what we do. There's nothing I can do here. All right, let's try it anyway. I'll forward an ambassador your request. You'll see some results in the next week or so. All right. Uh, while we're doing that, let's go to the Congo if I can find it. Take me to the Congo. I will need to leave. I don't know where the Congo is. I'm too stupid for this game. Jennifer, can you be my geographic advisor? Algeria, Mauritania, <laughs> Mali, oh, South Africa? Okay. Zaire, oh, Congo, I found it. It's in West Africa, actually. All right, uh, what do you want me to do? Give them, give them money? They need, oh, they need tw a lot of money. We're giving them j jack squat, basically. Let's send them some money. Okay, I sent them something at least. Let's send them some social aid too. Humanitarian aid. Like, this is from Jennifer. You're Jennifer's pet country, so we're going to help you out. Please send her some bribes. Intelligence aid. Sure. Aid needed 37. I guess they need food more than they need intelligence. Military aid, not so much. Is there a nuclear aid? Oh, there is nuclear aid. I want to give them nuclear aid. Use the saucers you have in Area 51 <laughs> to do what? Alright, let's send some aid to the Congo. They accepted the package. It's clearly new for where aid continues. So nice of you to accept the package. My ethic levels went up again. Looks a minuscule amount. All right, what's going on? What else can I do here, with Chief of Staff? Or oh, not here? I mean, like in the world. Uh, is this the whole world you're gonna show me? Yeah. So we okay. Iraq, we still see. Um, military hotspots: Ethiopia, Afghanistan, Lebanon. Nothing to report. Nothing to report. My election is only two years from now. How does Congo? Okay, I don't got the Congo. All right, I want it's, I want some stuff to happen here. This is taking. This is like. I sent some ambassadors to Iraq. You reckon it was we help Japan? Why? Because we like help them with their like uh, video game industry. Come on, it's too slow. It's like everything here is slow. What's my report on Japan? Let's see here. They don't need anything. They're all good. They need military aid. We know if I send military aid to Japan, like Chinese gonna get pissed off. You want to help them anyway? Or I'll send military aid to Japan. And I was already sending plenty of aid to Israel, Ryan, so I don't think I can need to increase that. This sure looks like a game I'd be absolutely terrible about. What I call it Gamer's Grotto is no more hair in the game. <laughs> I mean, you can't let it like bother you too much. I'm definitely going to be the best president that ever was. Acceptance for the aid package was accompanied by Okina Serenity and Chris Kuhn and it's, it's like, these guys, are, these people remind me of like, like people on the street that you give money to. Like, it's like, like say thank you, man. Don't be like, oh, can I have more money? I mean, like, give me a break. I give you like $20 million. $40 million. 
who cares what China thinks? I, I care what China thinks. I don't want China to like bomb me or something. Let's give some aid to Canada. How's Canada? Canada doesn't need money. I mean, the UK, none of these. The UK, Israel, Japan, Britain, they don't need. I mean, they don't, Canada, they don't need money. Like, they're fine. I give them if you want, but like, what the hell's the point? Canada, zero, zero, zero. Two, oh, he needs intelligence aid. I'll give him some intelligence aid. And all it's going to do is just make them like us, you know, slightly more. But speaking of likes, by the way, if you guys like this stream, please hit like. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Since we're talking about people liking other people. Thank you, person who hit like. Appreciate that. Japan needs more money for video games and anime. That's what I figured you meant. Accept their willingness to, accept, to take more. I'm glad I have a budget for foreign aid. Send Canada vaccines. <laughs> you need vaccines. I said Gre Greenland some money. I, okay, what, okay, come on. I got something, make something happen. I'm going to speed up the time a little bit. I'm speeding up time. Two hours per second. I want something to happen. Oh, okay, something's happening. I don't know what it is, but something's happening. I've been tracking riots taking place in Bolivia. All right, let's hear about it. Let's hear about Bolivia. Oh, wait, hold on. Slow it down. China is doing something. They're condemning Japan. All right, what's going on in Bolivia? Uh, oh, it's, it's not, no, 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 what about Bolivia? Come on, you moron. Where's Bolivia? There, Bolivia. If you like this channel, President Stu will appeal to you if you don't. Yeah, Jay, hit, hit the bell, I appreciate that. Come on, I, press secretary. The world needs more anime, Green Raccoon says. <laughs> Good to see you, Green Raccoon. It's been a while, by the way. I appreciate you joining. All right. Uh, it seems political extremists are responsible for the violent riots in the capital. The year's effectiveness has reduced by 15%. The government remained in power. Okay, let's see. Let's let's go to the, the country view for Bolivia. Tell me what I should know about this country. The current system is classified as cooperation. They're aligned with the United States. Alright, so we need to help them. The Falkland Islands is a terrorist threat. Alright, we need to help these guys. They can't let these extremists take over the country. They, wow, oh my god. How much economic aid do they freaking need? I think they need more intelligence and military aid. Let me give them a bunch of intelligence aid. And let's give them some more military aid, too. Stop those extremists from taking over the country. Yeah, that's right. I got lots of money. I'm going to print as much as I need. No more peace in La Paz. <laughs> Is La Paz in Bolivia? No, I'm just kidding. They accepted the package. Well... How, what else can I do to help them? Uh, supply arms to rebels. I don't want to do that. Commit espionage. No, no, no. Uh, I want to kill the rebels. Form surgical strike. I think that'll, that'll attack them. I don't want to do that. I want to help them. Let's give them some, what about social? Encourage social reform. Promote human rights reform. Let's see what happens if I do advice on this. Alright, let's do this. Do it! That's my church's name, Santa Maria de la Paz. Cool. What just happened? Something happened, I didn't even see it. It went by so fast. China's condemning Japan. Oh, gosh. There's so many cond condemnations. Like, who gives a damn? I'm going to speed up time a little bit again. Do, do, do. Come on, what's like to happen here? Somebody do something. 
So yeah, if if I was really the president of the United States, yeah, that sound, I don't know what the hell that is. That's that was that was what I was talking about Ryan in the beginning of the stream also was making that sound like the I don't know what's doing that. Your optimist is now ready to encourage the sound of politics at work. You're, sorry, yes, I want to do it. I, I said I want to do it. Why would I want to do it? Uh, I guess it's a Dan Quayle joke, but like the social reforms were rejected. Since this action failed, you be able to ask for advice from us in the future. I did ask for advice from you, you stupid jackass. My leadership effectiveness went down. Hell with you, Bolivia. Now I'm angry. You rejected my demand. I'm trying to help you, you stupid fool. Stupid morons. Yeah, I don't know what's, what it's doing that for, what that noise is. It's coming from the game, I think. I mean, I never heard it before from anything else. Is it really annoying? I apologize. Oh, uh, what's going on? Somalia surrendered. Ethiopia successfully defended itself. I didn't even know that Somalia was attacking Ethiopia. I guess I should have paid attention to that. They did say actually before, um, if I could actually do anything, he was saying there was all-out war in Afghanistan and whatever else. I should go check that out. Kuwait is condemning Iraq now. For, for what, I don't know. Uh, okay, so... Total war in Afghanistan, Lebanon, and Cambodia. Let's go check out Kim Lebanon. I want to see what's going on there. Lebanon. Yeah, this game is interesting. I mean, it's it seems like you could probably play it for a while. What? How did I get to South America? Oh, because I, I didn't click on... Come on. Oh, man, their interface is sort of bad, though. Bolivia has requested we improve our human rights practices. Should we follow their suggestion? What? Is this like retaliation for us? Say they should improve their human rights practices? How can we improve our human rights practices? Like, I, what do you want? What do you tangibly want me to do? Anybody have any thoughts? Should I accept this? I mean, I, I I'm like inclined to say, yeah, sure, we could we'll improve our human rights. I mean, like. Why not? I mean, what does that actually entail? All right, I'll just do it, whatever. We're taking steps to improve your rights in our country. So, a lot of things went down. <laughs> Police state level went down. Peace went down. Influence went down. A lot of things went down. Wow, we, we, that, that, that actually worked out poorly for us. And Bolivia came out looking really good. I mean, I'm not too surprised. I should, next time I'll just decline that and say, like, go blow. All right, let's go regional view over here. Where's Lebanon? Is that this? Lebanon. Country view. Let's have the uh, National Security Advisor. James Cromwell, as my brother said before. Lebanon is cooperation. Oh, that's nice. They're being. What's the. What is, what's going on, though? You said there's. I said there's war going on. What's the war? You said there's all out war in Lebanon. <laughs> the gamers Grotto says this stream needs to be called How Not to Be President. Yeah, let's see you do better. All right, uh, the military of Lebanon represents 0.0% of the total world military power. So how are they fighting a war then? No significant battles in Mideast to report. Did it say they were fighting a war a minute ago? Did that war end? Total war in Lebanon. Uh, okay, what's going on here? How does Lebanon feel about us? I don't care about how they feel about us. I want to help them with the war. I don't know how to do that, though. All-out war, that's weird. No, the Middle East and Africa are so peaceful. That's funny. <laughs> Japan is condemning Indonesia now. I guess it's really better to do these condemnations. How do I, con I don't even know, how do I condemn a country... 
Soviet Union's condemning Panama. All right, Lebanon. Should I give them humanitarian aid? They probably need it. Looks like they need a lot. I want to be the, the give me the most aid. I'm, well, I'm, I'm almost out of the aid budget for humanitarian aid, actually. What if my budget for humanitarian aid is so much smaller than my budget for, like, military aid and nuclear aid? I don't even want to send any... Why do I want to send nuclear aid to anybody? Like, here, have some nuclear weapons. Here you go. Uh, what, why is it going... How did it make it go faster just now? That's interesting. You sure you don't want some more nuclear weapons? Oh, happy here. Here you go. Have a nuclear missile. Have a nuclear... Just, I don't know what I... Stu, if Larry Laffer can't be better, what help would I be? You damn well know the best first blinking butt I see I'll press likely had no life as I know it. Alright, so we gave them aid. Again, I think I hope something helped me here, but I'm not sure what. Not much. Uh, is there anything else I could do, like, to help them? How come there's no option to send military aid? Like, I don't want to pressure the country to do anything. I want to help them. Like, why is there no option to help? I can supply arms to rebels. I can coup d'etat. I can assassinate a leader. I don't want to do any of those things. I want to just give them aid. Like, not money, but like, send the troops or something. I mean, like, I don't even understand who they're, who they're at war with. It doesn't, like, who's attacking them? I can, oh, here's how you condemn people. Strength and economic ties. Advice. This will be politically sound. No problem. I think we ought to do it. Alright, let's do it then. I don't know why I'm doing this, but okay. Yeah, you missed the first playthrough, Gamer's Grotto. <laughs> I didn't actually nuclear holocaust. I was assassinated in office. I don't know, like, uh, what happened after that. The operations are now ready to start a polluted black race of the rat. Wow, that took forever. Yeah, do it. I said that like a week ago. Iraq has accepted this Jesuit polluted flag race that you offered. Oh, good. My ambition went down. Ethics went up and net peace went up. Their ambition went down too. Oh, wow. It went, wow, actually accomplished something. Their, their ambition was 6 and now it's 5.94. That's great. I should do that again. Man, I can stop them from invading Kuwait. What's going on here? I'm about to be condemned, I think. <laughs> the media, Iran condemned the Soviet Union. Good. Who's, I mean, who's in charge of Iran these days? It's, it's like, it's the Ayatollah, right? right where's that? Where's Iraq? Come on, let me click on it at least. Indonesia made an unsuccessful sabotage attempt in Japan. What the hell is Indonesia doing? All right, country view of Iraq. What else can I do for Iraq? Oh, let's improve the relations even further. Uh, initiate cultural... Dispatch peace envoy? Can I try that? Let's see. Advice. No, we're going to fail. We have little... Give those a positive action. Why are we diplomatic to the relationship? All right, let's try it. What about cultural... I did, I did the diplomatic relations already. How about economic ties? Oops, I, I meant to do advice. That was an accident. Uh, that was an accident. Let's also try, though, to do something else. Uh, I don't want to encourage investment. Yeah, let's strengthen economic ties at Lebanon. Lebanon has rejected the proposal. Jerks. My leadership effectiveness went down again. You suck, Lebanon. Why do these countries do that? Um, dispatch peace envoy. Let's do this too. It's probably not going to help. They're probably, I'm sure they're going to do whatever anyway. Send flowers. <laughs> That's a great idea. Send flowers. I think something popped up on the screen really fast before I had a chance to see what was going on. All right, I'm still focused on Iraq. Yes, do it. The Iraq has announced the agreement to strengthen economic ties with our nation. All right. 
didn't do anything for me, though. It lowered their ambition further. That's good. Maybe they'll, like, freaking calm down. If I can get them to actually calm down, that'll be nice. I mean, they're still super ambitious. Alright, what else should I do, folks? What else should I do? As the President of the United States... See, I was trying to say before, if I was really the President of the United States, like, I would not be, like, dealing with any of this stuff. I would be, like, dealing with, like, the old co my own country. You know, what's going on in the country? Are people happy? People have enough, you know, prosperity? Like, what's the tax plan going to look like? You know, I mean, like, domestic aid, like... What? And I tried to do that, and it was like, you don't want to give money to your own country, Mr. President. Like, how stupid can you be? Ha, ha, ha. Like, what do you mean? Like, I want to invest in my own country, not just give aid to the whole rest of the world. I'm going to speed up time again. I was already It was already sped up. What do you folks think I should do? Come on, chat. Got a lot of smart people here. I don't know if you're paying attention or not, but tell me what to do. Where should I go? Should I give money to Greenland? Yeah, I'm still ready to dispatch a peace thing to Iraq. It succeeded. All right, I don't know what that did. My leadership effectiveness keeps going up. My ambition went down. Their ambition went down a lot. Quality of life went up for them. I don't know what that accomplished, really. If Stu was president, we mass execution against anyone not liking or subscribing to his channel. Yeah, unfortunately, if I do mass execution against people not liking and subscribing to the channel, I think 99.999999999999% of the world would have to be executed. So, I feel like that's not a good idea. Jennifer says I suggest strengthening ties with Wakanda. I'm not sure that's going to work. Um, what was the what was the uh, where was the other guy from? The Claw. Where was, which country was he from? We received a notification that Canada was able to establish a social reform program in Cuba. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to sit here and wait it out and see what happens. Israel failed in an attempt to supply arms to rebel forces in Syria. Good job, Israel. My popularity moved to 52%. I was mid-typing that Ryan me to legalize... I didn't see... Oh, isolate legalized weed <laughs> and cancel all social media. I missed that the first time. <laughs> legalized this one, Mara. So, weed is now legal in New Jersey, at least. As of uh, this past this past voting season, I think. We had a, we had a proposition on our ballot to uh, legalize marijuana. What do you guys think of this game? I feel like it was much more fun when I was killing everybody and I got shot. Although, like, uh, I mean, obviously that game that was a very short game. Right now, like, I mean, I think I'm going to go golfing or something. Right? That's what the president's supposed to do, right? Nothing's going on. He goes to golf somewhere. And then he spent, I mean, I go, like, read a book upside down to, like, some kids in a, in a school or something like that. Cat has done two of those things. Which two of those things do they do? Legal? Oh, they isolated? <laughs> this diplomatic nonsense is BS. Make with the warring. Yeah, it does have a sequel. Um, actually, I was more interested in the sequel, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go... Hold on a second. I'm going to get the sequel quickly to show you guys. Let me turn this off for a sec. No, let's turn this off for a sec. One sec. I'll show you something. While, while I'm getting something, the game is doing something. This is this is the sequel. It's called Cyber Judas. Um, the sequel to Shadow President. And I actually want to do an unboxing of this, but I figured before I try to unbox this, I should actually try to play the original game. But this looks actually more interesting because there's like a whole bunch of weird stuff going on here. Like like what's the look, look what is this? Like this is a picture of some dude like jumping through a window or something, attacking somebody, and here's like some sh stuff blowing up. So, it seems like the graphic... I don't know what this is. There's some dude, like, coming out of the ground wearing, like, his chains or something. And uh, here's, like, some more stuff blowing up. 
So I don't really, I don't know what this is, but it looks like at least it has better graphics. So I do want to actually try this out. So I'm planning on doing an unboxing of this pretty soon because this, this copy is sealed. Um, but I feel like I said, I figured I need to try the original game out first before I do that. Marijuana is... Oh, I'm sorry. I, was, I should have clicked on this. Iraq condemned Israel. Who cares? Marijuana has been legalized in Canada. Why? It can be bought in most stores. Oh, cool. So how much did you buy, Jeremy? Did you buy, like, enough... Like, uh... Like a dime bag, or did you buy like enough for like the whole the whole state, the whole province? Israel condemning Iraq. Cyber Judas sounds problematic, and I'm Catholic. Yeah, I don't know why it's called Cyber Judas. <laughs> That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. I guess Judas is just a, just a term for a traitor. As long as my popularity stays at fifty two percent, I'm golden. I mean, I just want to get reelected. I see what it's about. Fans attacking CD Projekt Red over Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I doubt it. <clears throat> I want to. Okay, I'm gonna speed up time here a little bit. Let's make time go faster. I don't care. I want to speed it up. All right, four hours per second, eight hours per second, one day per second. All right. Okay, t time is moving, and I'm not doing anything. I'm just hanging out. Madagascar, something's happening there. I don't know what. France has established a cultural exchange for with Egypt. So exciting. Who the hell cares? Come on. Every single stupid thing that happens, I don't need to notice about. Someone condemned whatever. Oh, riots are taking place in Poland. Okay, that sounds interesting. Now let's slow things down. Let's go down to po let's go to Poland. Why are riots taking place in Poland? Where is Poland? Austria, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Poland. All right. I know we're showing my ignorance here. I bet Stu has never even seen a joint. <laughs> You seem pretty straight and narrow, Stu. Jeremy says, after this, can you do a live unboxing of my eBay package? Do you want me to open up your stupid eBay package? I could if you want. All right, so tell me what you have here, press secretary. Uh, it seems low-ranking officials are responsible for the violent riots in the Capitol. But, you see, I can't, I can't help the government. You don't let me help. That's the problem that I have. I want to I do something. I mean, they're getting, like, tons of aid. Okay, they don't need any aid. They don't need humanitarian aid. Economic aid, I guess I'll give them a bunch. I mean, that's why they're riding, because they, they need freaking food or something. I don't know, or money, I don't know. Here's some money for you. Money solves every problem. My daughter said something really funny today. She said, a million dollars can do a lot, but it can't provide happiness. Said some stupid fool. <laughs> Or something like that. Uh, okay, let's see what else I can do. We said we we said the aid first of all. Do the Polish know what riots are? I assume they do. That's not true. I'm sure they see the strip joints. Polish submarine that riot because they want screen doors <laughs> on the submarine. I don't even know what I just did. I, did, I clicked by too fast. Let's see what else can I do here. I. Uh, Encourage social reform. That 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 backfired. I mean, that that backfired last time when I did that. Lean towards this action. We think we ought to do it. All right, so let's do it. It's, they're, they're probably gonna reject it like they always do. Very true, Stu daughter. <laughs> they are candy, right? And. Jeremy, you got like a package, or I can open it if you want, but I don't see what the point of that is for anybody else here. All right, so what, what's going on now? Riots in, Ch in Poland. Let's speed up time a little bit. Four hours per second. Eight hours per second. Okay. Eight hours per second. What just happened? The Shadow Network. Do, do, do. 
I could be a, could be a second stream. Your opera? Yes, I want to do it. It's the potato stupid thing again. Why is it graphic going to be a post side of a postage stamp? Why can't they make it like fit the whole screen? They were rejected. It's like, what the hell? Why do they always reject my stuff? Like, my advisors tell me to do it, then it's rejected, and then they say, oh, you, sh you should ask our opinion in the future. I asked your opinion. This is it a boxing challenge? It's not unboxing your private mail. It's unboxing games. Kuwait and Iraq are fighting for some reason. Are they, is there something going on there? Poland is trying to prove diplomatic relations to our country. Should we do it? Sure. But yeah, see, like, I guess that was okay for me. I didn't lose anything on quality of life or anything. It's an eBay purchase of a Logitech Harmony remote. I don't even know what a Logitech Harmony remote is. So it needed to strengthen their economic ties with China. China. Let's go fight. Like this, this, could we, we like convert this game to like Street Fighter Two or something? Like that would be really cool if you're like, Shh, Brazil. Do, 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 Round one. Fight. Then go somewhere else, like you know. Oh, I go this way. USSR. Made more sense than a live stream video. Gaida? I don't know what's going on here. USA! I have more fun pretending this is Street Fighter 2 than with the actual game. Let's speed this up a little bit more. One day per second. I just want to get to my, like, uh, to my re-election. But that's not for a very long time. Oh, what happened? My staff concerned about Iraq. Whenever I discover a large amount of funding has been diverted to the military budget. She must be aware of his detected large street routes along the border of Kuwait. Alright, let's just think about Iraq, I guess. I thought I did already, but I guess my actions were not effective. <laughs> Stu doesn't need weed. <laughs> You're right, I don't. Alright, come on. Get over there. Come on. There, yeah, Iraq. <sighs> Country view. I mean, I was, I was, I was becoming their friends, right? Let's, uh, what can I do that will actually, that might make them stop what they're trying to do here? Is there anything I could do that would be helpful without just going and freaking, like, bombing them or something? Which I might have to do. Something really big is about to happen. Their top brass moved to a bunker in the capital. Troops are massing along the border of Kuwait. Oh, wonderful. Uh, let's perform surgical strike. What do you think? I'm not sure there's the best interests. All right, let's not do it then. But it, it, oh, it's probability of success on the top right. I didn't even see that. Ninety-five to hundred percent. That's pretty cool. Um, what about supply arms to rebels? That's very low probability. So that's not good. Uh, coup d'etat. Very low, also. So if it's if it, if if it's if the chances are so low of being successful, then what the hell's the point? Where's the freaking seals? Two to twelve percent. <laughs> I've seen stupid retro arcade where they got fighting you, give a heart attack. Send the nuke to the ocean, kill Jason Momoa. 
Yeah, I'll do it. I mean, uh, what the heck? I mean, the thing is, like, Ryan, if I attack them now, like, I'll, I'll, I'll help, I'll, like, stop from, from attacking Kuwait. Maybe I should wait, though, until they actually attack Kuwait. It's like, that's like, otherwise I'm going to be condemned, you know? Like, like, where's Kuwait? It's one of these small countries, right? Kuwait. They send them, like, military aid or something. I'm already saying a bunch of military aid. Just looking at this game, a red surge will strike and crash the game. Well, I'm going to try it anyway. If it crashes the game, then, you know, then the game sucks. It's not my fault. Humanitarian aid. Let's have some humanitarian aid. You don't got, you, I mean, you got, you got plenty of oil there, Kuwait. Let's send the aid. The need for more aid continues. It, it did nothing for me except raise my ethics. I don't really raise my ethics. Get more military aid. If if I if I could like freaking give them more military aid like to the point. Okay, here we go. Let's send them like so much money that they like their military grows so much. There. <laughs> now that's way more than they need. So maybe if I send them this aid, they could like fight Iraq themselves. Let's see what that that does. The need for more aid continues, bastards. Their military spending went up a lot. All right now, what? What else can I do? Uh, encourage military spending. No, I don't want to do that. Enter the war room is interesting. You can perform additional military functions, including troop deployment and invasion. Let's try. Let's see what does that do. I think twice. I say no. Or let's attack them. All right. So forget that. I don't want to attack them. And I guess I could do it to Iraq, but uh, I'm sure that's also they're going to say that don't do that either. Watch sure this is the best interest. Da -da -da. All right. Let's 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 not do that yet. Where to? <laughs> What's that noise? It sounds like someone's like bobbing somebody. Uh, what else can I give them here? Economic aid is not going to help them. Humanitarian aid over enough. Let me give them more intelligence aid. So they know they're being attacked. They got so much money for that for some reason. I don't know why. Might as well send them some money. That's all the United States is good at is sending money around the world, right? All right. Okay, let's see. What, let's let's wait. Let's see what happens now. Let's speed up time. Let's make it one day per second. Yeah, Ryan. When I was smelling something before, I got really nervous. But I think someone just burned something upstairs. Come on, what's going on? News reporters saying, who cares? Help Israel conquer the region. Everybody piss their first, but after a year or two, all will be thrilled. I highly doubt that's how it's going to work. So this happening in Israel right now. An assassination attempt took place in Israel. Additional details whenever you're ready. That's, it, actually, that's what happened in Israel, isn't it? Didn't Rabin get assassinated? Uh, let's go to the regional view. Let's slow things down. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. Country view. Give me information, press secretary. They try to attempt, the opposition leaders attempt to assassinate the leader of the country. The effectiveness has been reduced by 15%. Assassination attempt the attempt. What does that mean? The assassination attempt the attempt. I don't know. All right, well, was he assassinated or not? I, I, I'm not really sure. All right, how, who cares? I can't do anything about it anyway. Let's go back to our main thing here, speeding up to one day per second again. 
Come on, Iraq. Let's go. I'm looking at you. You do have the guts. Come on, Iraq. Let's go back to my... Oh, oh, what's going on? That's... What is that? Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Something's happening. I don't know what's happening, but something's happening. France has recognized their economic ties with Panama. I don't care. It's not giving me irrelevant information. Give me information that's not... What about popularity go down from 52% to 51%? I went up again. Okay. Alright, that's fine. So we need to establish a culture exchange program with Cuba. So what's happening now? Did I avert the crisis? Oh no, here's something with Kuwait. Kuwait failed to increase peace levels in Egypt. I wonder if I averted the crisis by sending tons of military aid to Kuwait. I don't know. Tracking riots in El Salvador. All right, let's let's go check out El Salvador. I dispute President Stu appreciation was born in Kenya. I was born in uh, Hawaii, actually, not in Kenya. But it's, I understand why you might think that. I mean, this game is okay. It's it's very. I mean. I guess it's supposed to be, like, drawn out like this, but and I can obviously speed it up. And I guess if, if, if you want to do something, you got to do something, but, I mean, oh, my God. All these guys need so much freaking aid. I don't really have any more money to give you guys. I'm sorry. I'll give, but I'll give you a little bit. Now we figured out you can hold down the button. That's how you speed it up. I don't want to do that before. I got so much intelligence aid, it's crazy. I'm going to put down the riots by sending lots of military aid to you. There, here you go. New Cuba. That's why I did the first game. I said it's Duke North Korea right away, and it didn't really work out for my favor. Duke Kenya to show you no loyalty. <laughs> I should nuke El Salvador. Here's some military aid. Oh, and here's some nuke. Here you go. Boop. All right, let's speed this up again. I'm going to try this to do nothing and see what happens. Day's to election, 796. Sheesh. Gotta walk the dog, okay. Is it ready to turn off like the level of stupid alerts that I get? So you'd fail the attempt to supply arms to rebel force in Israel. There's a rebel force in Israel. Israel would like kill the rebel forces right away. I'm not even pressing the button. It's like those those messages go away so fast. All right. There's so many things here that are irrelevant, like to me at least. I mean, maybe they're relevant to somebody else, but my popularity went down again. I guess I'm not doing enough. So is condemning Zaire. Why did my popularity go down? Like, give me a reason for it at least. I mean, so far my. Assassination attempt took place in El Salvador. I don't really care. So so far, like, I mean, my opinion of this game is it's okay. It just seems like there's not there's there's a lot of stuff going on everywhere, and there's like it's very difficult for me to be really strategic or do anything because I, I want to just tell these guys like go 
you know, like, continue the policy. My, see, my popularity went up to 52% again. I wonder how you get your popularity up to, like, 90%. Is it possible? Or is, like, is like they said 50% is really good before. I guess because, like, it's impossible for everyone to like you. Basically, the citizens war against the political leaders. Oh, he's saying, Canada became a police state as of yesterday. And because the police force revolted against our leader, he redacted his orders? Really? What happened? I didn't know about this. So you can still try to supply arms to Israel. Meanwhile, the time is going, ticking by here. Popularity is at 53%. So I'm doing nothing. That's what the United States citizens want, is they want the, they want the, the president to like stop messing around. Just like, don't do anything harm. <laughs> Just do nothing. So let these guys fight it out. Let them all, you know, have their fun. Let them play little games. And we just sit back and do nothing. As I was trying to say, it's 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 okay, but like... First of all, I wish that when I did something, it wasn't like the size of a postage stamp. And I wish there was more actions I could take that were not aggressive. I wish there was more peaceful actions I could take. I mean, there's like strengthened cultural ties and whatever else, but... Riots in Turkey. I don't know if I care. The leaders demanded all police to arrest anyone who left their homes due to the stay-at-home order because of COVID-19. Oh, interesting. And then they just, the police refused to do it. Well, I'll, I feel bad about Turkey. Let's go give some Turkey somebody. Let's go give Turkey some Turkey. If I can. There's riots in Liechtenstein, too. What, what are they riding around in Liechtenstein? They, not enough uh, casinos there or something? They have castles in Liechtenstein. I'm thinking of Monaco, I guess, with the casinos. It's going by so fast here. My popularity went down again, a few two percent for no reason. Police force said, "No, you're an idiot. They're infringing on human rights. We're not doing that." Wow, that's pretty impressive. Where's Turkey? Is it Turkey, Mongolia. Yeah, that's the Soviet Union, I think. Where else Turkey? I, I didn't slow down the time, because every time I do this, it takes too long. I wish it, th it didn't stop interrupting my actions to tell me bullcrap that I don't care about. Pakistan? It's, oh, that's Pakistan, of course. I'm in the wrong place here, I think. Oh my god. So because of that, we have to lock tonight our leaders redacted the doors to police and I can walk my dog without being arrested. That's nice. Saudi so Arabia. Right, let me go to the Middle East. Jeremy says, send all the top the top tokers to Arab countries <laughs> to <Dumb> everyone. <laughs> what the hell is that gonna do? Is this Turkey? Or is it Iran? I don't know anymore. I think this is Turkey. But I can't get to it, so it makes no difference. Now there's riots taking place in Poland. Right, let me slow things down. There's just too much crap. Riots in Bolivia. There's riots everywhere now. I already gave Poland a bunch of aid. Riots, I see the numbers of my state. The more we lock down, the higher it goes up. It's weird to me that so much hate directed states that open up and do well. Should they be happy? All right. Oh, this is Iran. Okay, where's Turkey? Oh, Turkey's up here? Come on, stop doing that. I'm trying to do something. Turkey, finally. Oh, my God. Hey, uh, Canada just condemned uh, Greenland. I don't give a crap. Oh, my God. You still want to do some more peaceful things. Yeah, it would say to be able to strip everybody. I mean, that, like, I don't know how peaceful that is. Turkey, oh my god, they need a lot of economic aid and humanitarian aid. I don't have much to give them. But I'll give them a little bit. I'll just give, throw money at the problem here. I'll give them some intelligence money, too. And military money to put down those riots. 
I got so much military money. Yeah, there we go. Said aid. I miss President Stu's first term. All right, Ryan, you know what? Like, I can just go back to that if you want. But it's, you know what's going to happen? It's just going to end up like the same thing again. But yeah, I'm, I am a little bit disappointed. I mean, like, I, it seems like I averted the Iraq crisis with Kuwait without them even attacking. Which is sort of cool, but I mean, I mean, it's nice that the game lets you do that. But, um... I mean, like, it gave me a little boring. All right, let's do this. They all say do it, and they know what's going to happen. And they're going to reject it, and they're going to say, you should listen to my to my actions. You should listen to my advice next time. I miss presents too. For him. The unboxing would be more fun to watch this. Yeah, f for you. <laughs> yes, I want to do it. Oh, we got a new animation. They broke their chains. Our bastards failed. Our bastards freaking suck! Every time I try, they fail! And my, my leadership effectiveness goes down. What the hell? I'm so tired of failing at everything I do. I'm putting out a Viking. <laughs> Take my shirt. I'm going to evade Stu's Senate. It's not the Senate that's the problem. It's all my advisors. They all suck. I'm sick and tired of them telling me, Oh yeah, why didn't you listen to us? And then like, they, they go and like do something else. I'm not even being coherent anymore. <sighs> What's going on in Sudan? They're condemning Sudan for what? What did Sudan do? They attack somebody? I mean, I should go figure out what's happening in Sudan. Oh, Iraq is doing something now. Oh, that was, that was Iran. My popularity went... Up, I think. I don't know what's going on anymore. Jar Jar Binks is my advisor. Oh, gosh. Come on. Let me do something. Tell me what's happening in Sudan. They hate us. <laughs> Classified as enmity. They have the resources to apply to do much threat. Okay. So we don't care about them, is what you're saying. What are they doing, though? What are they doing that everyone's condemning them? <laughs> right, so this may sound harsh. I feel like no one cares what happens in the Sudan. I think you're right. That's basically what you just said. Like, they hate us, but we don't care. Uh, Sudan is pals and... Uh, Secretary of State. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, let's watch. Let's go to the press secretary. P.S. I love you. The old condemning Sudan. The recent action. What's the recent action? Oh, they sabotaged some of the eth economic actions of Ethiopia. And Ethiopia sabotaged some of the economic actions of Sudan. I agree. Who gives a crap? Oh, man. You put this game down for one second. All right, I'm, I'm only playing until days to election gets to 700. It's at 716 right now. I'm going to speed up the world. Once it gets to 700, I think I'm done. I don't... I mean, this is this is too boring. I can't, like, play this, like, for so long. It's like... like I, I mean, like, there's a couple of crises. I dealt with it. It's like... My popularity should be, like, freaking, like, 90%. Because I, 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 I completely avoided Operation Desert Storm. But meanwhile, like, I get no credit for that because nobody knows, I guess. I'm better off, like, letting them invade. Guys, peace everywhere. We're all happy. Da, 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 la, la, la. What's happening now? Uh-oh, what's that? We've been monitoring Iraq. They're increasing their spending. Now, they, they detected large treatments on the border of Saudi Arabia. Was that they want to attack Saudi Arabia instead? Oh jeez, that's a, that's actually interesting. Let's see if I can do something about that. Saudi, I know Saudi Arabia. Come on, I hate I hate the way this interface works. There we go. Accessing Shadow Network. The Shadow Network is the greatest network in the world. All right, they need 
we're not helping them too much here. There's intelligence aid. <laughs> Alright, let's give them left tons of military aid also. They're probably going to end up attacking Israel, but that's okay. Here you go, Saudi Arabia. I've only played this game for a few more minutes anyway, so. Intelligence aid. Yeah, pour it on! Let's course some economic aid too. We can look five bucks economic aid. I'll give more Japan is giving them. Yeah, there we go. Let's give some more social aid than Japan too. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now. Not trying to mess with Saudi Arabia. <laughs> what economics? <laughs> See, look, what the hell? Like, look, I gave them so much. I gave them like 1.5. I gave them like, no, $2 billion. And it says, acceptance for the aid package is accompanied by an openness to entertain increased commitment on our part. Oh, you're really, you're willing to entertain increased commitment? That's so nice of you. I really appreciate that. Bunch of jerks. All right, let's go back to the world view. And let's speed up time. Do, do, do. They attack him anyway? I guess they're going to still attack him. Even though I increased the aid. I didn't give him enough. Hold on a second. Let's, let's see if I, if I can give him more. They still need 353. Yeah, you got enough now? You think you can stop that action? You think you can stop the, the, the war? I'll give you like every single freaking dollar I have? Stupid losers. There. If you can't stop the war now, you suck. Canada's money for money things. <laughs> Give all the money to Canada. <laughs> what are they going to do with it? To help improve the Canadian National Anthem? They need a, if, 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 I, I'll agree to give money to Canada if they will agree to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game during the seventh inning stretch. I think that's a fair trade from my perspective. I spent up time again. All right, Iraq, go attack Saudi Arabia now. I think Iraq decided it's not a good idea. Can you bomb Antarctica? Antarctica's not even on the map. So I don't think so. Come on. Everything is so slow. They can be Venezuela now. Everyone's going to be Venezuela. That's for the voting machines, right? Or was that in Venezuela? Okay. Oh, I got to 699. All right. Okay. I think Iraq decided not to attack. Because they realized that the Saudi Arabia, even though I just gave them, like I wired them a bunch of money, they they managed to like build up their military instantaneously to ward off an attack. Apparently, Coke or Pepsi. This is uh, like sort of flat Pepsi right now. All right. Oh wait, what's going on? Saudi Arabia. Israel cannot establish a social reform. Yeah, I don't think so. So. I think that I had enough of this. I mean, unless anybody wants me to continue, I mean, if you want, I'll do the nuclear option again, but I, I, I don't see the point. We already did it. We saw what happened. There's no way to win the game that... I mean, is there a way to win the game that way? I don't think so. I doubt it. I don't think anybody wants the U.S. president to go, like, rogue and start, like, nuking or even attacking, you know, militarily randomly. Yeah, nope, I agree. So... I think that's probably it for today. It's been like almost two hours anyway. What do I think of this game? I think this game is pretty good. Like, it's okay. But I'd rather play an adventure game, honestly. I like the fact that I was able to do some stuff and accomplish some things here. But I wish I had more power to do more. So maybe the second game is better. I mean, theoretically, the second game is better. Because if you look at the back here, it says... Um, there's three different simulations... One of them is you are the president. Try your answers to global problems with a neutral and loyal cabinet of advisors using the award-winning presidential simulator, which I assume is this. Then it says also, cabinet wars. Run the world while your cabinet advise for political power and force you to respond. That sounds crappy, actually. I don't want to fight against my cabinet. But the first one says, the cyber Judas Gambit. Find and eliminate the traitor before your world erupts into chaos. 
I'm assuming that's all these explosions and stuff. Also, like a picture of a bomb here. If you can see that. Uh, wait, let me get the camera a little closer. It's like a, a picture of some kind of bomb or something. I don't know. So I'm assuming this there's one scenario here which is way better than what we've been doing until now. So I want to try that out and see if it's good. <laughs> the one about Cyber Jesus. Yeah, I'm also curious about the sequel. I agree. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Ryan, and my loyal subjects. Do, 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 I think I'm on my way to be reelected. Oh, let's see what happened. 53%, all right. I am so freaking popular. I should get more subs for that. If I should, every 1%, I should get like another, like 100,000 subs on this channel or something, right? Is that, that's not how it works, is it? Oh, Spycraft. That's an awesome game. I've played that before. I think the thing with that game is like when it first came out, I saw it in the store, I didn't buy it because it's called Spycraft the Great Game. And I was like, oh, the budget for the year is about to be processed. To change your budget, press do it. To accept your budget, press cancel. I just cancel. I don't care. Social outcry levels. <laughs> So uh, my, po my popular is 54% now. So it's called Spycraft the Great Game. And I was like, they, they, what, they, they call themselves the Great Game? Like, they, they, they really like, you know, are pretty egotistical to say that they're the Great Game. I'm not buying that. Like, it's ridiculous. But it turns out that it's not talking about the game being great. It's about the game of spying being the Great Game, quote unquote. All right, great. Calculations complete. All right, well, my popularity is 54%, so that hopefully means another 100,000 subs. And on that note, if you are watching this and you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so, because I play lots of older games for DOS, as well as other platforms. I do a lot of TRS-80 stuff lately. Pro tomorrow I'm going to stream again, and I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is another TRS-80 slash Atari 8-bit game. Basically, on Thursday, I stream the, uh, the, the Adventure International Special Sampler, and I'll probably go ahead and stream the full Adventure Land, maybe with the graphics mode turned on with the pictures. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, Jeremy says the Greek game is not referring to the game. I'm, I'm aware of that now. Ryan says smash that stew button. Uh, you can smash the like button if you like, or the subscribe button. Don't smash me, though. I don't want to be smashed. But I think I got a handle on this game because we're only at 659 days, and. I think it's gotten past whatever actual real history took place. It's just like random crap that's happening now. So hopefully I can just coast into the election here. Uh, 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 55%! Oh my goodness. Look at this. I really have this completely under control. I think we can safely say that I'm going to be re-elected. Read my lips. No new taxes. Like, subscribe, or face public execution at the hands of students. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. What's going on? 56%! Holy moly! So the moral of the story is, if you're the U.S. president, just do absolutely nothing. Just golf all day long, and your popularity will slowly rise as the rest of the world condemns itself, condemns each other, but you don't care about any of that stuff. All you gotta do is just hang on. <laughs> You'll be elected. This is before fake computer voting. 57%! My gosh! My popularity is like the highest anybody's ever seen. I'm definitely the best president ever of all time. Definitely the best. Definitely the best. I don't even know what else to say aside from that. I just, I'm just really good for fake computer voting. You're funny. All right, folks. I think I'm going to end this on a high note, but please, like I said, like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're watching this after the fact, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of this game. What do you think of the stream? If you tell me the game sucked, but the stream was still good, I will be happy because not every game can be a winner, but I do my best to make it entertaining for you guys, even if the game sucks. That's my job, trying to entertain you, even if the game is terrible. And like I said, tomorrow, probably we will come back and stream that, uh, Adventure, that Adventureland game. I, and I think I'll try the one with the text first, and then do the one with the graphics, so you guys can see the graphics of that, which are pretty cool. Voter fraud of the pop. This is probably fake polling, also, right? This is like I got fifty-seven percent because the pollsters like really like me and they're trying to like promote my my presidency. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks very much, everybody. Have a great evening. Talk to you all soon, and uh, peace out, everybody. Wait a second, Jody McDougal. Hey, how's it going? I should modify that game. Which game should you modify? I'm really curious now what you're talking about. Oh, that game. Gamers? 
I should modify that gamers. I, I missed something, I think. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you're talking about. Jarrett Jer Greenham's Grimes is by Steel. Fantastic evening. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you guys all soon. Bye-bye.